Welcome back to my channel, Metan Language, and we're going to discuss gas law, gay Lussac's law. So, the way formula na gagamitin natin sa gay Lussac's law, we have P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. So, P1 is the original pressure. T1 naman natin is the original temperature. P2, that will be the resulting pressure. At ang T2, that will be the resulting temperature. And also, take note, pressure units. Uh, pag sinabing standard pressure, it could be 1 atm or 1 atmosphere, 760 tor, 760 mmHg or millimeter of mercury, 101.3 kPa or kilopascal at 14.7 psi. And also take note then, so temperature units, temperature must be converted into Kelvin first for all gas law. So kung mag kayo, kung naka siya or Fahrenheit, kailangan mo na siyang i-convert sa Kelvin. Tapos i-convert nyo na lang pabalik sa Celsius or Fahrenheit kung ilang hinahanap. So kung, um, kung Celsius siya, mag-add ka ng 273.15. At kung Fahrenheit naman, Yung Fahrenheit, dadagdagan mo ng 459.67. And that's the only time that you will multiply it to 5 over 9. Para makuma yung Kelvin. So, sa ibang textbook or sa ibang teachers, ang um, pag Celsius to Kelvin, mag ka na ng 273. Kaso, depende naman yun. Sa akin, nag lang ng 0.15 para mas accurate lang. Example number one, determine the pressure change when a constant volume of gas at one atmosphere is heated from 50 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. So, P1 natin, that will be 1 atm. Ang T1, that will be 50 degrees Celsius. Ang resulting pressure, hindi natin galam kasi determine the pressure change nga. At ang T2, or yung resulting temperature, that will be 60 degrees Celsius. Ngayon, kailangan mo natin siyang i-convert sa Kelvin. So, yung 50, mag-add ka ng 273.15, magiging 323.15 Kelvin. At yung 60 naman, magiging 333.15 Kelvin naman siya. So, dahil na change mo na sa Kelvin, lagyan natin yung formula. P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. So, substitute the values. So, my 1 dito over 323.15 is equal to x over 333.15. Cross multiply mo lang siya. That will be 333.15 is equal to 323.15x. Divide both sides by 323.15 para makita mo yung value ni x. And x is equal to, okay, just like that, 1.030945. Dot, dot, dot. So, yun yung sa calculator. Yun, paano mo manilaman yung final answer? Get the least significant, the least number of significant values. So, ang 1 ATM natin, ito, 1.00 that has, it has 3 significant figures. Um, 50.0, tatlo din, at 60, tatlo. So, kukuha lang tayo ng tatlong significant figures. So, that will be 1.03, at dahil 0 to round down. I also have a video about that, kung paano ka uh, malalaman kung ilan yung significant figures ng isang number at kung paano siya i-round. Ilalagay ko na yung link sa description box. So, moving on. So, final answer natin will be 1.03 at lagay mo yung unit. 1.03 atm or atmosphere. Example number 2 naman tayo. A gas has a pressure of 699.0 mmHg at 40 degrees Celsius. What is the temperature at standard pressure? So, um, P1 at and that will be 699.0 mmHg. At ang T1, that will be 40.0 degrees Celsius. Ang P2 naman at and that will be standard pressure. At ang T2, that will be X. Check natin. So, 40 degrees Celsius, kailangan natin siyang baguhin to Kelvin. At ano yung standard pressure ulit? Check natin. Standard pressure pag M, ang ginamit dito ay MMHG. So, napin natin yung MMHG din. Okay, so we have 760 MMHG. So, ito yung standard pressure pag MMHG. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, napalitan ko na. Ngayon, palitan natin yung Celsius to Kelvin by adding 
313.15 at magiging 313.15 Kelvin na siya. Now, ito makinit tayo, naging na natin yung formula. Yeah, P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. Substitute mo yung value, 699 over mo na 313.15 is equal to 760 at over mo siya ng X. Cross multiply mo siya, cross multiply lang. And you will get an answer of 699x is equal to 237,994. Divide both sides by 699. And x is equal to, okay, fraction. 340.47782.5 dot dot dot. So, ito yun. Pahin natin malalaman yung final answer. Let's get the least number of significant, uh, yung least number of significant values. So, 699.0, may apat tayo na significant num uh, number dito. Apat yung significant number. Apat yung significant figure, sorry. At 40.0 naman, tatlo yung significant figure dito. So, tatlo yung kukunin natin. Sa 340. So, 340 at cut. And uh, 4 siya, round down tayo. So, final answer natin is 340 Kelvin. Kasi, um, Kelvin siya dito. Kung pinanap siya sa inyo ay Celsius, then you can just convert it to Celsius na lang. Oh, like this one. So, binawasan ko siya ng 273.15 yung 340. So, ang sagot ay 66.85. At that, uh, 3 yung pinaka konting significant figure. So, 66.9. Cut. 5 is round up tayo. So, 66.9. Okay, let's go to example number 3. The pressure of a gas decreases from 820.0 mmHg dao at 80.0 degrees Celsius to a pressure of 95.0 kPa. What is the new temperature in Celsius? So, naging mo ni mga given. So, P1 is 820 mmHg. T1 is 80 degrees Celsius. P2 is 95 kPa. Uh, T2, hindi natin alam. So, X mo na siya. So, convert mo muna yung Celsius to Kelvin. We have 353.15 Kelvin here. At, mapapansin mo, oh, iba yung units ng original pressure natin at resulting temperature. Yung isa, mmHg at Kp. Sino mag adjust So, ang dahil ang hinahanap natin is the resulting temperature at magka-partner to, Cp1 yung mag adjust Papalitan natin tong mmHg to Kpa. So, check natin ulit yung conversion units. So, 760mmHg is equal to 101.3 kPa. Ang gagamit natin yan. So, gagawin natin yung 820mmHg, mamultiply mo sa 101.3 kPa, at over mo siya sa 760mmHg. Remember, equal lang tong dalawa. Itong 101.3 kPa ay equal sa 760mmHg. So, let's simplify it. 820, multiply mo sa 101.3, at divide mo siya sa 760. Magiging sagot ay 109.3 kPa na. Kasi magka-cancel out to eh. You know, madita rin kPa. So, lagyan natin siya, 109.3 kPa na siya. Okay na tayo, kPa, kPa, at naka-Kelvin. Pwede natin siyang isolve, lagyan mo yung formula. P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. Substitute the values, we have 109.3 over more than 353.15 is equal to 95 over x. Multiply um, both, okay, just cross multiply them pala. So that will be 109.3x is equal to 33,549.25. Divide both, both sides by 109.3 and you will get an answer of 306.94647 dot 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 dot. Paano natin malalaman yung answer dito? Paano natin check around? So, check natin yung number of significant figures. Ang 820.0, yeah, 4 significant figures. 80.0, 3 significant figures. 95.0, 3 significant figures din. So, 3 significant figures yung pinaka-content. So, binangin natin, 1, 2, 3, cut. At dahil 9 to, mag-round up tayo. So, it'll become 307. So, 307 Kelvin siya. And take note din, natin ng dito, what is the new temperature in Celsius? 
So, kailangan natin i-convert vacuum Kelvin to Celsius by magbabawas tayo ng 273.15. So, the final answer will be 33. Sorry, the answer will be 33.85. Uh, at long significant figures, meron tayo dito. The least. So, 3, 1, 2, 3. Cut. Atong 5. Round up tayo. Maging 33.9 degrees Celsius. Let's go on to example number 4. The pressure of a gas in a container is 1 atm at 250 Kelvin. What will be the new pressure? The temperature increases to 750 Kelvin. Okay, you can do mental math here. So, paano? Um, if the pressure kasi, if the pressure increases, the temperature also will increase. If the pressure decreases, then the temperature will decrease also. Hmm. Directly proportional sila. So, may 250K ka dito at 750K. Hmm. Mapapansin mo, nag times 3 siya. A factor of 3. So, yung 180M mo, magiging, mamumultiply din siya with a factor of 3. Magiging 380M lang din siya. So, kung nagda-doubt kayo, so 1 over 250 is equal to x over 750. So, 750 times 1, 750 is equal to 250x. Divide both sides by 250 and x is equal to 3. Hmm. So, sagot ay 380f. Kung, ma kung, ano naman, yung mga given naman natin ay medyo parang giveaway na, you can do mental math na lang. But you have to check also the temperature. Kung baka kasi naka-Celsius siya, hindi mo pwedeng gawin yun. Kung naka-Celsius siya, kailangan mo muna i-convert sa Kelvin. At kung iba yung units nila, then you have to adjust din. So kung mga simple questions like this one, you can do mental math. Okay, let's move on to example number 5. Paano kung may mga scientific notation like this one? So let's uh, read the question. A sample of gas at 3.00 times 10 to the third power, 10 cube mmHg inside a steel tank is cooled from 500 degrees Celsius to 0 0.00 degrees Celsius. What is the final pressure of the gas in the steel tank? So if you want that, that will be 3.00 times 10 to the third, po third power or cube mmHg. T1 naman natin, that will be 500.0 degrees Celsius. And T2 is equal to X. And T2 is equal to 0 0.00 degrees Celsius. So, etong 3.00 times 10 cube, simplify mo lang siya. So, ang 10 cube, that will be 1,000. So, 3 times 1,000 is 3,000. 3 times 1,000 is 3,000. Okay. Um, MMHG, hindi naman inaanap kung anong unit. Or may mag-adjust po ba tayo sa bang unit? Wala naman sinabi. Celsius, so you have to change that to Kelvin. Yeah, 773.15 siya. At ang 0, yan, 473.15. Dahil okay na tayo, lagyan na natin yung formula. So, P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. Ngayon, substitute mo yung mga values. May 3,000 tayo dito. 7R73.15. Ang X ay 273.15. Cross multiply at 819.450. Sa kaliwa at may 773.15 X ka sa kanan. Divide both sides by 773. 773.15. Para makuma yung value ni X. So X is equal to 1059.8848 dot 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 dot. Okay, nasa calculator ka naman siya dito. So, get the least number of significant figures. Paano pag scientific notation, sir? Wag mong papansinin to. Wag mong pansinin yan. Pansinin mo lang itong nandito. So, 1, 2, 3. 3 significant figures. Ito naman ay 4. This one is 3. Again, if you're confused kung paano malaman kung ilan yung significant figures ng isang number, you may check the link below sa description box na meron akong video about it. As well as sa pag-around din. Okay, so going back. 
the least number of significant figures we have is 3. So 1059.8848. 1, 2, 3, cut. Dial 9 siya, mag round up tayo. So magiging 6 to. So magiging 1060 na siya. At same unit naman kasi wala lamang sinabi na kung mag-iiba tayo ng unit. This is the final answer, 1060 mm Hg or millimeter of mercury. And that's the end of the lesson on how to solve gay lusex law, gas law. Go may comment or suggestion kayo, please just comment down below. At kung may assignment kayo, kung may langan yun tulong dito, clarification, I'll do my best para masagot naman siya. As long as connected naman siya dun sa topic. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe and also click the bell notification para update kayo sa bagong videos ng math and language and other gas law. The other gas law will also be yung mga link nila Gagawin ko pa yung ibang gas. Nasa description box naman siya. Thank you and goodbye.